He explained that 16% of all likes from women go to only the top 1% of men. To yourself, where are all the good men? There are no good men out there. They told me, go get your degree. Don't chase the men. I got a degree now. I'm smith than all of them. If nobody wants to date single moms, how we all got boyfriends? Well, you get to my age, and you're dating, you're going to want to start dating single moms. He went out there, passport bro too, and got him one. So you got brothers going out there on a regular basis. Come here, I'm telling you, you're going to suffer. There is no job here. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Now, before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into this. Engineer from Hinge broke down how the likes are distributed on Hinge. The eight percent of women are competing for the top. Competing for the top ten percent of men. That's what we tell y'all. When you're complaining, oh guys are doing this, guys are doing that. You're talking about the same guy. Top 10% of men. He explained that 16% of all likes from women go to only the top 1% of men on the app. Top 5% of men who bring up nearly half of the likes from women are way pickier. So it means they're competing for a smaller group of men. I wonder why they left. That's why women are way pickier. Men aren't no good. Can't be trusted. This, this, and that. It's all about the same guy. And you wonder why... Guys feel they have to depart nowadays. Guys have to leave sometimes to make sure they can find someone that's for them. That they can find someone that's available. I'm talking about this. If you are thinking to yourself, where are all the good men? There are no good men out there. I really encourage you to take a closer look at that narrative because we as women are being conditioned, we have been conditioned to stay separate. It's disconnection. And the same goes the other way around. Both sexes are being conditioned. It's subtle, it's cunning. A lot of it isn't even to do with relationships, it's to do with power and money. But it's happening for sure. And when we buy into those types of stories, all we end up doing is perpetuating those stories. So men are buying into the stories. Like that woman just stated there, the video before. She stated facts. That's what most women are struggling with. They're not getting the time of day. And since 2020, the whole world has moved where? Online. For the people who are trying to control the masses. Come on, stop it. Get some help. So I can guarantee you from all of the work that I've done with men, women and couples is that men have got more capacity to meet women in general and meet them in their needs and desires. Not all men, of course, and not all women, of course. It goes both ways, always. But men have generally got more capacity than a lot of women think. All of my female clients... Here we go again. Without exception have to take more responsibility in their language, in their communication. And they already think they're taking full responsibility. They don't understand why their partner's not opening up to them. So as that lady stated, a bunch of twos are getting the attention of men that are eights and nines. Don't you see a lot of women getting ran through? But oh no, they're told, you're the best thing. You're sexy. You're beautiful. You're picking these men. They're going to continue to line you up and run through you. I expect them to do that. But they're speaking to them and communicating with them in a way that doesn't create the right environment. Now, it's not all on us women, of course. It does take two. But either you are being energetically inspiring in terms of creating that environment and calling your partner forth into having a higher quality type of conversation, or you're not. Energy is king when it comes to relationships. There's much more work that both sexes can do. But as women, it's dangerous to start thinking that you've done all the work, that you've done so much more work, that you're so much more self-aware or a partner or a man. And like I said at the beginning, if you're thinking there's no decent men out there and you're saying that, I'm going to urge you to stop saying it because you're buying into the narrative. You are limiting yourself 
from tapping into infinite possibilities. There's always another perspective. So we have to watch what we're saying, because if we're saying it, you know, we are fundamentally believing it. So let's have an inner boundary for ourselves. When you have an inner boundary, you create more energetic space for what you want to come in. No, no. What's happening is a bunch of you women are fours and fives and you expect the eight or nine or ten man to be faithful and loyal. Are we blind? Or even a man that's making a hundred thousand like all of you want. That's not going to happen. I'm telling you the truth. You, their lady, you're about a four. You expect Prince Charming to come and wipe you up? Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> I doubt it and I think not. Ladies, have you ever met a man who knew his worth? Clap if you have. I did a show last weekend and it was a couple in the front married for 35 years and the, the, the wife did not clap. And I, I pointed out, I said, excuse me, you've been married for 35 years, you didn't clap. She was like, tell you little okay? No. <laughs> don't worry about this. He don't know, he don't need enough. Tell you That's why you don't stay single now. <laughs> yeah, I met a man recently who knew his worth and y'all, <laughs> when I tell y'all, that was so disgusting. It was so do not recommend zero stars, because how am I supposed to manipulate you if you know your work? <laughs> how am I supposed to do that? Like, I'm up here having problems, he's solving them. I'm like, stop! Like, all I got is titties and tears. <laughs> stop! Like, all I got is titties and tears. <laughs> yeah, she's being us. They tricked us. I'm in my 30s, and they tricked me. They tricked me. They told me my whole life. Be strong. Don't worry about the men. Get your education. They'll be there. They're not here. They're not here. They're not here. They're gone. I don't know. They're gone. Sad, but true. They told me, go get your degree. Don't chase the men. I got a degree now. I'm better than all of them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want me. I talk too much. They want women that don't talk. I want something feminine and delicate. I'm getting to the age where it's like you're dating with intention. Y'all know what that means? It means you just hot all your red flags. I'm like, listen, all I like to do is cook and listen to you. Marry me. Please marry me. It's getting bad. I pretend I don't have an opinion about anything. They're like, what do you like? I'm like, what do you like? Want to be together forever? getting bad you know it'd be really funny if that same woman was on stage telling jokes about how she hopped the carousel and wasted all the good men why do i say that i know she has and you do too word i don't particularly think i'm bad looking all right i have a job i pay my phone bill you know but no one wants to date me and the answer is not that my standards are too high because i've dated three rats in a trench coat just because they wanted to take me out to dinner one time so what's wrong with me? Why? What and also, you expect pie in the sky. And men are going for it. You're not going to get pie in the sky. You don't deserve it. You should have had pie in the sky when you were 10 years younger. That's true, and that's facts. But all of you want pie in the sky, and a lot of you women are going to be sad for a long time. Okay, so I've gone live and had this question asked to me, multiple times why do women go for the bad boys now we can't group all women in category i can't speak for all women but i can say the reason why many are attracted to the bad boys quote is because of the qualities that come with bad boy such as leadership provision so she said the bad boy gives leadership provision and protection i gotta hear this and protection. Leadership is pretty self-explanatory. They have their own mind. They can think for themselves. Hold up. So you're telling me the man that is in your friend zone right now didn't show leadership skills when you try to plan a date? Or maybe when you, when you was talking to him about your problems. He didn't show leadership skills, provision. He didn't lead by example. Oh, he has. Well, let's hear more. I feel safe around you and I know that you're willing to protect me should my safety ever be compromised so yes, that's what we're drawn to and attracted to it's not that good boys aren't attractive kind aren't attractive it's just we like those leadership qualities i hope this helps got gang issues or 
something else going on or some someone liable pop a shot at you any given time you feel protected it's no winning this is why women should look at these videos you see the difference in percentages you see around 98 percent men <laughs> the two percent of women that watch my videos is a mother's account the account is under their mother's name i'm happy that they're watching to learn something to learn some game for some kind of man in their life i'm sure there have been in their life but still because men do this for you guys we put up this content for you and so for all you men that are watching no two percent of women hey you need to tell your mamas to watch or something same reason why they laughed at who they laughed at men passing the godfather himself mr ks they laughed at him in his face why because they truly didn't understand if nobody wants to date single moms how we all got boyfriends oh. Somebody is lying on his act. Before my father abandoned me, he told me something about single moms that always stuck with me. He said, son, when you get to my age and you're dating, you're going to want to start dating single moms. And I'm like, dad, why? Single moms, why? And he said, one, they always have some sort of snack in the kitchen. He was like laughing about that one. He said, two, more importantly, there's a reason someone put a baby in them. And he could not be more right. <laughs> People say someone being a single mother is a big red flag, and that couldn't be a bigger lie, okay? It's actually a green flag. You see a woman with Does a she child, have earrings that on? is a walking positive Yelp review. Because think about it, as a man, biologically speaking, when you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to plate my genetics into this, it has to be a good thing, right? There could be a woman that I'm not really attracted to whatsoever, but if I find out she's a single mom, I have got to go see what the hype's about. Because you really shouldn't judge a book by its cover, okay? Hey, like sometimes you have to get in there, meaning like into her life, and then all of a sudden you see, you're like, ah, yeah, this, this is why he did it. You have to trust your fellow man, okay? You have to trust that it was reasonable for him to put a baby inside her, you know? It's just got My only problem with single mothers is the kids, okay? Like the kids themselves. Like he's not attracted to her whatsoever. And because she's a single mom, he wants to see what the hype's about. If this is not the most accepting speech I've ever heard in my life, he's going to get an award. You know who's sitting there listening to him saying that? All the single baby mamas like, yeah, you got that. We support you from here. We ain't never going to give you none. We support you from here. You got to stop it, bro. Please. Some of them got weird kids. And it's like, ugh, like, why you, like, why you, bro, like, there was this one who literally walked into the room and, like, he looked at me and then looked at his mom. Oh, no, God's going to get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see why. It's pretty good. It's, let me stop. Let me stop. And he was like, can I have some yogurt? Like, bro. <laughs> like, bro, like, what's wrong with him, bro? Like, oh, like, he can at least say, like, what's up or something. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, single moms, W, got my stamp of approval. And who's that? Oh, it's Mr. MVP, Sam. Oh, no. These parents got to be stopped. Guys like him, man, this is why women are the way they are. Because the guys like this. Don't come to this country. Don't come here. There is no work here. There is no job here. I've been here for the past one year. There is no job. They lied to you. There is no job. Don't come if you come. So we have here an African woman went to South Korea, complaining there's no jobs. Anybody gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell her? Anybody gonna tell her? Lady, the jobs are online. Find a reason. You want to be in the country, either for the people, the men, the environment, right? And then find your job online. You're working for a company in the U.S. or even in Africa somewhere. I gotta let her finish. You will suffer. If you come here, I'm telling you, you're gonna suffer. There is no job here. There is no job. Have you seen anyone before telling you that, saying that about South Korea? Have you seen anyone mm -hmm. with their food chest? Saying this, have you seen videos like that on the internet about South Korea? Have you seen anyone saying that there is no job in South Korea? Have you seen anyone? We are you even get her to come do that nonsense uh, video that there is no job here. When when work day, you, you don't work finish. When you come, they talk. I beg you, when you hear things like that about a country, run. But you see this country, job day, hmm? job day country, non professional job. Now you go select. Now you go run. Now you go tire. Walk this South Korea. You can never hear anybody with their full chest the way people talk about other countries come up to say such things about South Korea. No, because they know there is job. If you have seen anyone, tag the person. 
Let me and let me contend. Leave leave the person. Oh, there's plenty of things you can do online, and a lot of guys are going over there with their full chest <laughs> and getting careers online. This is the future, lady. Wake up. You're complaining and blaming things on the country. That's your fault. He went out there. Passport, bro, too. And got him one. Look at that. Oh, she thicker than a sticker, too. So you got brothers going out there on a regular basis and finding and finding jobs, finding careers. I'm not saying he went out there and did that. But think about it. A guy like me, before I moved to the Philippines, all right? I moved out here with a job online. I could never work in the Philippines. They wouldn't pay me enough. They would be able to pay me enough in Korea, but I really want to do what they're going to have me do. Probably not. So it's wow. I saw it look bad for passport assist, man. And seems like the bros got to figure it out, though. And more you guys are going to have to figure it out, too. Because you all realize it's definitely more to life than going through anything like that.